What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, part two of Silco, and well, in our last episode, we went through a full-on hour of me just rambling on the gameplay and all that stuff, and well, now it's time for us to get through the nitty-gritty of the Silco, and I do believe that there was one more battle that, uh, that Godzilla needed to actually go to grow to level 33. So I did that off screen, and it learned, uh, what was it called again? It learned Slash, so finally. Now, I did have enough money, and I sold quite a few items, bought myself more Hyper Potions and Full Heals now that we don't need Awakenings, Paralysis, Heals, and all that stuff. Full Heals does this, and so let's go ahead and give that rare candy to Godzilla. And there you go, two more levels to go. Now, let's go right ahead and switch out the Pokemon right here. Uh, the goal is to actually get both uh, Sir Razor and God or, and Torpedo to level 30, and then you know defeat everybody else right here too. You know that's that's the biggest thing. So we're gonna go stair for stairs. We're gonna be opening up some uh, some doorways, getting some new items and whatnot, and probably battling some trainers we have yet to battle. So let's go right ahead, right here. Now in the last episode too. Let's see, what did I do? Yeah, Aaliyah lost his first battle. Yeah, my niece was mad. Really mad, so yeah, I did not want to face that. So now if you talk to this lady, she's like, Eek! No, stop! Help! Oh, you're not a Team Rocket. Oh, I thought... I'm sorry, here, please take this. And we get ourselves a TM-36, and this is self-destruct. It's a powerful, but it's powerful, but the Pokemon that uses it faints. Be careful. Hmm. Definitely not a move that we, we want to use. So, let's go right here, and look at this. We're opening up every door, and I think we've already battled this guy, probably. I don't know. No, we haven't. Okay, so this is a good time to actually take on this guy. Hey, right, who said we were not going to have battle? <laughs> I'm a self-employee! Yet, yeah, you still want to battle me. Okay, so here we go. Scientist wants the battle, and uh, just like that, taking on Grimer. Okay. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, so... Yes, I am doing this, uh, you know, this side quest right here, the side questing, because eventually after we defeat Erica, the gym battles get a little tougher. I mean, whose idea was it to, yeah, whose idea was it to boost up the levels of Koga and Sabrina to level 50? I want to know that, okay? I want to know that. And Weezing right now, oh yeah, not taking any of our, you know what's. Okay. Okay, so we are poisoned. Okay, so let's go with an Ice Beam, see if we can actually freeze this Pokemon right here. No, and we're going to get poisoned pretty bad. Okay, so here comes a Smog Attack, and let's go again with an Ice Beam. And just like that, Weezing has been defeated, and Torpedo's still, well yeah, it's still not growing, but let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and move on. Let's go with Aaliyah. Okay, Aaliyah, ready to go, and... Uh, Let's go with a Thunderbolt. Now, in our last episode, too, I managed to beat a lot of these trainers using extra moves. I mean, I know I have my signature few moves right here, like Thunderbolt, Dragon Rage, and whatnot. Uh, it actually felt a little... It actually it was a little tough, but it was actually fun using different kinds of moves right here to defeat everybody. And, well, I guess this is the reason why we, we, we did this again, so we can uh, struggle a little. Not a lot of you guys see me struggle except for the legendary Pokemon. And, well, there we go. Thunderbolt. Oh, gravy. Holy crud. Okay, so Tackle Attack does us. And, well, here we go. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt for the win against this Weezing. And, uh, just like that, Weezing defeated. And say hello to level 35 for my Pokemon right here. And, well, look at this. How did you know I was a rocket? Well, you're right there. I work for both Sylph and Team Rocket. You don't say. So, one of the great things about this last episode was that I actually managed to buy, uh, find a Carbos and uh, another Vitamin to actually buy more uh, more material materials right here, guys. Remember, full heals actually heal everything up. And then, you know, we needed a more potent kind of potion and all that stuff. Potent potions. Try saying that all the time. And, well, let's see. I think we've already defeated this guy, probably. I, yeah, we went right behind him. Okay, so, like I said, guys, we're going to be going door for door. Door for door, if, uh, discovering some new things. And, well, let's see. What can we find right here? We already defeated this guy. Now, I do know the way to get to Gary and all that crud. 
The problem is we kind of just want to beat these guys first. This I do believe this is the area where we can actually we, where we can actually get to Gary directly. So let's go right here. Found ourselves a hyper potion. Talk to this guy. I support Team Rocket more than I support Self. So there you have it, guys. Another battle. And uh, here we go. Taking on another scientist. And, uh, well, we are risking it right here. Taking on uh, an electrode. So what's going to happen is we're going to be switching up right here. Let's see. Let's go with Terramon. Mm-hmm. All right, Terramon. And that Screech attack is not going to work. So let's go straight for a dig attack. Now, I did get Earthquake attack. And just like that, Self Destruct misses, and we win automatically. Look at this. Okay, alrighty. And Torpedo has grown to level 30. That means it will not obey me anymore because, well, yeah, we don't have our fourth badge. And that right there uh, boosts up the captive level 50. And just like that, Terramon beats two Pokemon with one move and grows to level 34. Yes, my team is coming on, uh, coming along nicely. You really got me! Yes, I did. Hmm. <laughs> Team Rocket said if I helped them, they'd let me study Pokemon. Okay. Well, they, you thought wrong right there. Okay, so let us move on and grab every item. Now, uh, yeah, Dig is a very, very, very helpful move. It just I just showed you how, how helpful it would be. But I do have Earthquake, and, well, it is a tough decision to actually, you know, pick one over the other. And, well, let's see, there's another trainer right here. Let's see, we need to switch out Torpedo and go straight to Sir Razor. And, well, let's go right here. Alright, bring it. My Pokemon are my loyal soldiers. Loyal soldiers. Okay, alrighty, so, here we go, taking on a scientist. And soldier number one is coming with Electrode. And this, this of course, is a little bit risky as well. So let's go with a Sleep Powder and Self-Destruct. Holy crud. Please do not faint. And it fainted. Holy crud. Okay, so nobody gets experience points here. Oh my god. Uh, you, you, you weak Pokemon. Okay, so that right there was uh, a draw. I consider that a draw right there. I don't know why, but yes, we got or we got ourselves some more potions and more repels and all that, or more revives and whatnot. So let's go ahead and grab this, and just like that, let's move on right here. Holy crud. Okay, so that wasn't uh, much of a good battle, so... Let's go right here. We found ourselves another door, and we're gonna be getting some more items right here. Look at this. Okay, grab this. We found ourselves a whole a full heal, max revive. Okay, and an escape rope because uh, well, who needs yeah, who needs uh, anything else? And this guy's hiding out. So let's see what this guy has to say. Shh. Can you see I'm hiding? Jeez, man. Okay, so you're gonna stay there forever. Okay. All right, let's move on. Anywho. Man, we are progressing. We are literally progressing in this walkthrough right here, and I'm uh, I'm actually staying happy now. Some of you guys had asked me if I if I'm gonna be doing uh, the legendary Pokemon. Yes. Now I'm planning on doing all legendary Pokemon at the very end, at the very 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 end of this whole walkthrough right here. I should probably focus on the main game first, and then take care of that. And look at that, we got ourselves a protein. Yeah, we do that. Then you guys will see that it's going to be a little... Uh, how fun it is to find these other Pokemon right here. And in the process, yes, I'm going to be doing episodes on the trade Pokemon and everything else in between. And look at this. We found ourselves TM09. What the heck kind of move is this? It's Takedown. Okay, so that's a good move. And anybody can learn it. I... Let's see. I could... Yeah, you could buy rebuy Takedown. You could rebuy Takedown, but I'm probably going to give it to Aaliyah for just the time being right here because Slam is a very, very, uh, well, Slam is a very inaccurate move. Let's go right there. Hence the whole, yeah, hence the whole, uh, recoil and all that stuff. But there it is. Pikachu has learned to Takedown. And let's see. Where else should we go? Probably here. I don't know. There. Somewhere. Okay. So let's go right here. And again, we're trying to find some uh, doors, the doors. And uh, okay, there we go, another door right here with quite a few items. Remember, make some space in your room, in your back for this. And here we found ourselves an HP up. 
and this one right here is an X accuracy. All of these vitamin, all of, oh, like yeah, all of these vitamins except for the rare candies, I'm gonna be selling for more uh, for more money. That way, I can buy some better items and all that crud. And well, let's see. Let's go right here, and we're gonna be opening up this door right here. It's a bingo, yes. And remember, there's 11 floors to this location right here. And if we grab this, TMO3. What is the TMO3? I want to know what the TMO3 is. And we found ourselves a Swords Dance. And, well, we got two Pokemon that can learn this. I kind of want to use it on Sir Razor. But we're going to have to find out eventually. So let's go right here. And, yes, we have opened the door. And let's go right ahead and... Continue on with Sir Razor because we need to get to level 30. Okay. A child intruder? That must be you. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Going up against a Team Rocket member and Sandshrew. Perfect. Okay. So perfect. And, well, let's go straight for a Mega Drain attack. And this one right here will defeat Sandshrew. And, yeah, Sandshrew has been defeated. Yes, sir. And, well, here comes Sand Slash, so, yes, okay. We're working pretty good right here, and Sand Slash is a little bit faster than us, but it, oh, wow, its attack is completely decimating us. And there we go, Mega Drain will heal us just a little bit. And that Sand Attack, holy crud, trying to blind us? Seriously? There we go again, another Mega Drain Attack for the win, and hopefully this right here will actually heal our Pokemon, or get our Pokemon to level 30. No, it doesn't! Oh, crud. Jeebus, okay. So, something pretty funny about this, guys. I've always had this theory that once you get to the level 30s, it's a little bit tougher to get out of, because level 30s require just a lot more of uh, experience points and all that stuff. And you! It's really dangerous here! You came to save it? Save it? You can't! Huh. Let's see what you got. It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Silco or our Pokemon. Hmm. Like I said, guys, level 30s are a little tough, and Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. Hmm. Catch any Pokemon, you say? But yeah, the level 30s, hard to get out of. Level 40s is just, just as worse, but... I'm kind of hoping to actually, you know, get to the level 40s or 50s by the time we're done with this walk right here. So here we go, bingo. We have opened this door right here, and what will we find around this area? Hopefully another item. This guy right here. Let's see. I wonder if Sylph is finished. It's not. It really isn't. Okay, here we go. Let's move on. And what else can we find around here? Nothing. So, let's go up here, and let's open up this area. And, well, let's see. We're going to be finding another door, and there's an... I think we've already defeated this guy right here, so I think there's no issue right there. Let's go right in and talk to him. Exploring the weak spots. Yes, this is the weak spots guy. <laughs> the weak spots guy. Okay, so let's see. Let us move on and go right here and see what else we can actually find. And look at this. Okay, so this is a perfect place to go because when you go in here, you will be finding a Nurse Joy. And she will actually she will actually get you to take a nap and bam, your Pokemon are fully healed yet again. So, let's see. Is there an, another item right here? Nope. Let's go right here. And I, I can feel it. We're getting closer. And... Talk to this guy. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Probably. I don't know. Okay. Maximum effort. Here we go. Taking on another rocket, and he's coming straight for a drowsy right here. Alrighty. Now, this is a bad matchup. Let's go straight to Godzilla Godzilla. Now it has slash attack, so this right here is going to be it's gonna be a little bit easier. Because, well, slash attack, critical hits, you gotta love those things. And there we go, slash attack, critical hit. Here comes a headbutt attack. And, well, that was a critical hit too, so let's go straight for an ember attack. Now, I can finally see what's going to happen in Pokemon Crystal, guys. I'm so excited to play that. And look at this, Sir Razor grows to level 30. 
And, well, it's about to come out with a Grimer. So let's go straight to Ultra Psycho right here. Now, like I was saying, guys, I'm, I'm very excited to go straight into Crystal, then Emerald. I think I already know how I'm going to go about this whole thing. I mean, I've been doing this for quite some time, guys, and, you know, I kind of wanted to make this into, like, a storybook kind of thing, and it kind of is. Kind of, it kind of is kind of becoming a storybook uh, kind of uh, adventure right here. As many of you guys already know, I'm like too quick to the trigger. I'm too. I don't necessarily read the instructions to a lot of things. This is why we kind of, kind of messed up a little bit on Pokemon Moon, which you know you guys already know. I paused that thing, and we're gonna be redoing it all over because, well, you know, we got business to take care of. We need to become the very first champion over in that location, and. You know, maybe this is a, maybe this this whole act three is a way for me to you know give it a little bit of a time to learn different kinds of games. And on top of that, can't wait for the newest games to come out. And um, you know, again, want to make everything. Well, I kind of want to fix up everything to the point where it's like it's actually you know there's a lot of information coming into the walkies right here, and hopefully this. Is actually one of them, and well, if you talk to this lady right here, ah, I'm scared. Oh yeah, she's scared, and I was about to hit that panel. So, what floor are we in? Let's see. Ah, okay. So, we finally got to the very end, and I think I know which floor we need to get to to get to the. Let's see. I think it's floor number three. Let's see. All right, let's go right here. And let's see. I think it's in this area right here that you can actually get to to the Gary location. I think I don't know. Right here. Nope. That right there will lead you to the tenth floor, I think, or the eleventh. So we go, and just like that, we're in front of Gary. Okay. Maximum effort. Let's see. Save the game because I do not like losing to Gary. Okay. Not one bit. Alright, let's see what happens. What kept you, Draven? <laughs> I thought that you'd turn up if you waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you wanted to get better. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another battle against Gary, and he has five Pokemon, and all these Pokemon are souped up. Level 38. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's go with the sleep powder right here, and this guy's going with a poison sting. That will not poison me, but this will put it to sleep, and it will buy me some time right here. Let's go. And how do you wake up after one good gravy? Must have a very good nose. And let's go with the sleep powder again. And seriously, Gary. Oh my God. And there we go. Sleep powder for the win. And let's go with another Mega Drain and, well, just beat this guy. Alrighty, Mega Drain. Wow, he's finally surpassing me in levels. But I've gotten a little, a little more strategic. So let's go right ahead. Go with the Mega Drain. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so there we go. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with a Nine Tails. So I can't use Torpedo now because it's at level 30. And the cap has just gone up, so let's go straight for Terramon. Let's see what you can do. Nine Tails, looking like a beast. But here comes that Dig Attack, and well, Ember Attack doesn't really work on me. Look at that. Nope, not effective. <laughs> That's right, Dig Attack for the win. And look at that. You didn't think I had a Golem with me, huh? No, sir. Okay, and he's gonna be coming out with a Cloister right here. So, let's go straight to Aaliyah. That's right. And I wonder if my niece actually loves uh, seafood. I think she does, or I don't know what she's allergic to, but... Yeah, what kind of an uncle doesn't know his, uh, his own, or his own uh, nieces or nephews uh, allergens? And, well, here we go again. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Thunderbolt for the win, dominating Gary. And here comes a Kadabra. Okay. I've been waiting for you, Kadabra. Um, 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 let's see. Terramon. Terramon can do it. You know what? Let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla. That's right. Come on. Bring it, Kadabra. 
Okay, alrighty, so Kadabra, meet this guy. Oh, I could have used Slash Attack. Good gravy. Yeah, I kind of messed myself up just a little bit right there with the side beam. So here comes a double edge attack. And that is a critical hit. <laughs> oh, wow. How do you feel? To fa <laughs> How does it feel to fail? Look at this. Okay, so he is going to be coming out with his Jolteon. Let's go to Terramon right here. And look at this. Jolteon is at level 40. This Pokemon is scary good. And I completely forgot that it had double kick. Good gravy. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's my bad right there. Okay, so all right, Jolteon, bring it. There we go. The MVP of the team, Terramon, finishes off Toilet Jolteon. How does it feel to fail? And look at that, level 35. I am victorious. Suck it, Gary. Oh, so you're ready for the boss rocket? Sure am. Well, Draven, I'm moving on up ahead. By checking my Pokédex, I'm starting to see what's uh, what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokémon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Draven, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya! Flipping you off, Gary. I am flipping you off. Okay. So there's something big right here, guys. Now, after you defeat Gary, you can talk to this individual. He's going to be like, oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us. Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. And we got ourselves a Lapras. Now, you guys already know, we're going to nickname this Pokemon Nessie right here. Because, well, Nessie is pretty cool right here. Nessie. And yes, it will be an integral part to... Oh, wow to our stuff and well it's gonna be sent to the PC and well it's Lapras it's very intelligent and we kept it in our lab but it will do much better with uh, off with you I think you'll be a good trainer uh, for Lapras it's a good swimmer it'll give you a lift look at that okay so we got ourselves a Nancy that's pretty awesome let's go right ahead and come here now before we do anything let's go ahead and take a look at its entry right here now a lot of you guys are like well yes Draven you got yourself a Nessie in Pokemon Crystal the the original walkthrough I will I am still gonna be using Nessie not in this walkthrough but in you know one of the walkthroughs that I have in the other channel so let's go ahead and take a look at this as you can see there's Lapras a gentle soul that can uh, that can read the minds of people it can ferry people across the sea on its back pretty cool very very cool all right um, let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon Godzilla it's a, it has a hankering to beat up some rockets right here, so let's see, let's see, Hyper Potion, there we go, and well, bring it, time to do it, hold on right there, brat, and as you can see, here is Team Rocket, our boss is in a meeting, you better not disturb him, okay, alrighty, and we're just prepared to, prepare to fight, double trouble. So here we have Jesse and James ready to fight us, and well, they're coming out with a Weezing. Now they like to alternate their 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 Pokemon, and well, it's no biggie for me because I got Godzilla, Godzilla ready to kick some butt, take some names right here, and Weezing surviving that attack. So here we go, Dragon Rage for the win, and wow, Weezing still just oh my god, okay. It's still just surviving, and that sludge attack hits us pretty hard right there with a critical hit, and we have been poisoned. Good gravy. Slash attack for the win. Okay, alrighty. Slash attack does it, and there we go. Now, coming out with Arbok, that is going to be a tough one right there, so let's go straight to Ultra Psycho. And Arbok is looking mean as always. Ultra Psycho, not fearing this Pokemon because it is a psychic type Pokemon. Here we go. Cybeam attack. There we go. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Okay. In level 33, how's it going? And, well, here's about to use a Meowth. And, well, let's see. I think it's only appropriate to use good old Aaliyah. Because, well, it's Aaliyah right here. Thunderbolt attack. And there we go. Just like that in the uh, anime. We use Thunderbolt for the win, like always. Wow, they just seem lazy. Team Rocket's blast off at the speed of light. 
again. And unfortunately, that is the last time that we'll that we'll actually see, you know, Team Rocket, Jesse and James, and all that stuff. It's kind of a I don't know. It's kind of a letdown because, well, you know, they were pretty cool. I think they fixed that up in Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Can't remember because it's been a while since I've actually played that game. And well, there it is. We're healing up our Pokemon. And I don't think there's one more trainer right here. So now we're gonna be facing off against we're gonna be facing off against Giovanni right here. Now we're gonna have to be using some pretty good Pokemon, especially our Sir Razor. And here we go, bingo. And well, let's go right ahead. Ah, Draven, so we meet again. The president and I are discussing a very vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown up side matters. Or experience a world of pain. Wow, okay, alright. Bring it! Alrighty. Let's go. Here we go, taking on Giovanni, the leader himself, and he's coming out with a neat arena. Oh, crud baskets, okay. So, I may have messed up on this one, so let's go right ahead and go to Godzilla, Godzilla, because we can, okay? Alright, neat arena. You may be stronger than my Pokemon, but... That double kick attack will not work on me. Look at this, I am invincible. There it is, and let's go with a Dragon Rage attack. Let's go! Dragon Rage doing its thing. There we go, there we go. And let's go for a slash attack right now. And, well, the critical hit does it, and the Fury attack will be hitting us, hopefully not five times right here. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, okay, come on, come on. Three times, so here we go, slash attack for the win. And there we go, critical hit does it, and well, let's see, he's about to come out with a Persian. Okay, so let's take a risk right here. Let's go ahead and use Godzilla. Persian, of course, is, he's, well, one of the best Pokemon that, you know, Giovanni has. So let's go straight for a Dragon Rage. And that does a pretty good attack right there, so here comes a Screech. Yeah, and definitely not digging that right now. So, there we go. There we go. Slash attack. And nearly beats it. So, let's go ahead and finish it off. Ember attack. Holy bejeebus. Okay, so why are you lowering my attacks? Why couldn't you just attack me? I'm just saying. I really am. And, well, there we go. Level 35. There we go. Okay, so here comes a Rhyhorn. Let's go straight to Sir Razor. Mm -hmm. Sir Razor. Let's get it. Alright, Sir Razor, you got this. Let's go for the Mega Drain attack. And does the Mega Drain attack, does it? And, well, there we go. And that does it right there. And look at that, level 31 for our Pokemon right here. And, well, let's go with a Nido Queen. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Ultra Psycho, ready to go. Now, again, I really wish I would have used Torpedo in this situation, but... Again, I decided to go on side quest just for this situation. So let's go side beam for the win. And wow, nearly defeats this Needle Queen. And here comes a body slam. Now, I did get the body slam technique somewhere. Probably should teach it to one of these Pokemon right here. So here we go. Side beam for the win. And just like that, we defeat Giovanni yet again. Ah, lost again. Yes, you did. Blast it all! You ruined our plans for Sylph! But Team Rocket will never fall. Draven, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Okay. Alrighty, so look at that, look at that. We, we won, there's no uh, calm music or anything like that. Let's go right ahead and talk to this guy right here. Thank you for saving yourself! I will never forget the... Or, I will never forget you saved us in, the, in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. And, well, like always, we do not have space in our, you know, in our bag, so... Let's see, what should we dispose of? Yeah, you know what, an escape rope? Uh, we kind of need that, hold on. Yeah, the X-Accuracy, there we go. Yeah, we can always get an X-Accuracy at some point. So let's go right in and talk to this guy, and, well, yes, our moment of peril. Please give me the Master Ball, come on. Yes, there we go, Master Ball. We got the Master Ball, and just like that, you can't buy that anywhere. Uh, it's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. 
You might, uh, you should keep, uh, you should be quiet about using it though. Alrighty. So, let's see. What can we do next? Okay, what can we do next? Let's go right ahead and go into the PC right here. Believe it or not, this is a PC, guys. And I kind of want to do something right here. Let's put in Torpedo. And let's go straight to Nessie at level 15. Now, let's go ahead and look at its stats. As you can see, Nessie. It's at level 15, water and ice type Pokemon, very rare Pokemon. It is actually a very, very great Pokemon to actually have on your team. It only has Water Gun and Growl, but eventually I'm going to be switching it up. I'm actually, no, I'm not switching it up, but I'm actually going to trade it to one of the other versions that I have onto my, uh, my other channel. That way we can showcase it there and still have, you know, still have that Pokemon uh, on our team and whatnot, because we will be using it. We will be using it in a Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2 whenever we get there. You know, that will be uh, for a while, or that will be for, for a while uh, right here. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to be using the escape rope to get the heck out of here. And there we go. Escape rope. Here we are into the Pokemon Center. Now, there is one little thing that we need to actually grab. One more thing. Right here, and let's go to Draven's PC, and we can withdraw something. Now, I do have quite a few TMs and HMs right here that we need to actually use. Um, what we need to grab is the Poke Doll right here, because there is somebody here waiting for us, and you're going to love it. You are definitely going to love it right here. So let's go straight up. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use our, let's go ahead and use our bicycle right here. Okay, so... After you defeat Team Rocket, everybody's going to be coming out of their houses, and, uh, let's see, thank you for writing, I hope to see you soon, hey, don't look at my, okay, no, I wasn't even reading the letter, okay, so this is not the person, let's go right here, and let's go straight to this house, now, if you talk to these individuals, this is a whole different house, my daughter is a self-centered, and she's only has a, she only has a few friends, oh, wow. Uh, my daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname the copycat around here. Now, if you go here and talk to the copycat girl... Draven, hi! Do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking me! But that's my ho my favorite hobby. Oh, wow, a Poke doll For me? Thank you. You can have this then. And, yeah, we do not have enough... <laughs> we don't have space in our... In our, uh, whatchamacallit, in our bag again. So, let's see. Good gravy. <laughs> okay, so TM3 is Swords Dance. I definitely need that. You know what? Um, TM26, that's the Earthquake Attack. Elixir. Uh, so, you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of these Super Repels for right now. Not going to go anywhere with any kind of Pokemon anytime soon. Again, let her mimic me. Now... Once you get a Poke Doll and talk to her, she will actually take it and she'll give you the TM31, which is Copycat or Mimic. And yes, the Pokemon will mimic you in every sort of what kind of way, or you know, it will mimic its opponent and its attack. So there you go, guys. So there it is. We have defeated everybody here. Um, hell, we can actually go to the Saffron City Gym to actually win a badge, but. Going there is kind of like suicide. Uh, the Pokemon are not properly leveled to take on that, on that trainer. So what we're going to do is in the next episode, we are going to be going straight to the Celadon City Gym, finally. And then we're going to be earning our fourth badge in order for Torpedo to actually obey us again. So again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button, you know, notification button, that kind of stuff. And if you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, links in the description below. I will see you guys next time for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. See you guys.